Percy, it's Emily. Hello, Emily. How are you? Not good, Thomas. I've lost my friendship chain. That's awful. Percy and I would be happy to help you look for it. That's wonderful. Now, whereabouts did you lose it? I'm not quite sure, but I passed 20 freight trucks since I last remember having it. So if we head back the way you came and count 20 freight trucks as we go, we should be able to find your friendship chain no problem. Well, I've never counted that high. How will I know when we get to 20? I'll help you, Percy. Really? Let's try it. This one is easy. One. Let's do this together and I'll help you when you need it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> You're doing great, Percy. Thanks, Thomas. Though this is where it starts to get tricky for me. That's okay. Just repeat each number after me. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty. And look, Thomas, we did it. We found Emily's friendship chain. And you counted to twenty, Percy. Well done. Here is your friendship chain, Emily. Thank you so much, Thomas and Percy. You are very welcome. You're welcome. What should we count now, Percy? Hmm, how about trees? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. That's a lot of trees, Thomas. What is Thomas's favorite color? He loves blue. Like the sky and like that bird. And his paint job, too. What is Percy's favorite color? He loves green. Like the grass and just like him, he loves green. Look, Sir Topham Hat looks like he needs help today. He wanted to paint the coaches, but there's just not enough paint. He wanted to paint with lots of colors, but this is all he's got. Red, blue, and yellow, some colors, but not a lot. What to do, what to do? Oh no, look out, he's tripped. The colors have splashed on the floor. Now they're starting to mix. <gasps> it's the color purple, just like Charlie. You can mix the colors, what colors can now. wrong, Percy? The other day, one of my wheels hit a rock and I came off the tracks. It really hurt. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Percy. Now I'm afraid it will happen again, or something worse. Oh, yes, accidents happen sometimes. We try our best to be careful and watch what we're doing, but they can still happen. What's important is that we tell an adult when we have an accident. Really? Why is that? Well, if you have an accident and hurt yourself, you need to tell an adult because they can help make it better. And if you have an accident that causes you to drop or break something, then telling an adult is the right thing to do so they can help you clean up the mess. You mean, tell someone like Sir Topham Hat? Exactly. I'm feeling much better, Thomas. Thank you. 
<gasps> Percy, look out for that rock! Owie, owie, owie! Percy, are you okay? I'm hurt, but I know what to do. I need to go and tell Sir Topham Hat. Way to go, Percy. I can do this. Ow! I can do this. Ow! I'm right here with you, Percy. Sir! Sir Topham! Sir Topham Hat! Percy, what's wrong? I ran into a rock on the tracks and it hurts. Oh, you did the right thing coming to tell me, Percy. Now, follow me and we'll fix you right up. You'll feel better in no time. Thank you, Thomas, for teaching me the importance of finding an adult. Happy to help, Percy. <laughs> oh, no! James! Are you OK, James? We need to go and tell an adult so they can help you clean up the mess. Follow me! What a lovely morning, what a lovely day. Thomas is happy and bubbly today. How about Percy? His face isn't long. He doesn't know how to feel, but something is wrong. It's today that Percy takes a special load. It is a special job, but Percy is low. How are you feeling, Percy? Do you know how to tell? Everyone has feelings and they can change as well. The butterfly has landed on Mia's nose. She is so happy just to watch her smile grow. But look, now the butterfly has just flown away. Poor Nia misses her and is sad again. Feelings, feelings. Percy, tell us how you're feeling. Are you feeling a bit surprised? Percy, tell us how you feel. You're not happy or surprised and you're not feeling sad. Thomas is nervous, his friend is feeling bad. Percy, are you nervous about your special load? Yes, you're feeling nervous and the feeling won't go. Feelings, feelings. Percy, tell us how you're feeling. Are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling scared? Percy, tell us how you feel. Tell us how you're feeling Are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling scared? Percy, tell us how you feel <laughs> You may be fast, Percy, but I'm faster You may be faster, Thomas, but I'm fastest <laughs> Oops! Huh? Oh no! Who's made all this mess on my dock side? Sorry, Cranky, we did well, you both need to clean it up. But that would take forever. But it's important to clean up after ourselves. If someone else came down this track, they wouldn't be able to get past. Or worse, they might get hurt. So leaving a mess can create a problem for someone else. I don't want to do that. Cleaning up is the right thing to do. But this sure is a lot to clean. Well, I'm happy to help. Let's try it. Where should we start? We could put everything in a pile. And then I lift each item and put them back where they belong. It'll be a lot of work, but maybe it'll be a lot of fun too. You know what makes everything fun? Singing a little song. Cleaning up can be lots of fun If you sing, sing, sing till the job is done Cleaning up is helpful too Leave a tiny place for me and you Wow, Percy, that was super fast. And super fun. And super clean. Who knew cleaning could be so fun? With everything back in its proper place, the tracks and the docks are clean for other friends to use. Thanks for teaching us the importance of cleaning up after ourselves, Cranky. You're welcome. Want to race some more, Percy? Sure, and maybe we'll find more to clean along the way. Cleaning up can be lots of fun. If you sing, 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 sing till the job is done. 
Cleaning up is helpful too. We'll leave a tidy place for me and you. Sharing is so much fun. Sharing with everyone. All together. Today is going to be a great day. Um, I suppose. Percy, is there something wrong? Well, I, I have a special delivery today and it it's causing me to feel something. Something? Yes, something. I I'm not sure what this feeling is, but it's causing me to not want to make the special delivery. Can you help me figure it out, Thomas? Of course, Percy. Let's try it together. Are you feeling happy? Oh, like Nia. Look, Nia looks very happy. Mm, no, I don't think I feel happy. Oh, what about sad? Now Nia is feeling sad. Mm, that's not how I'm feeling either. Hmm. What about surprised? Are you feeling surprised? Surprised is when your face goes... I don't think it's surprised. So it's not happy, and it's not sad, and it's not surprised. Thomas, will we ever figure this out? Not solving this is making me nervous. Wait, what? Nervous. You know, when you feel worried or maybe even a little scared about something. That's it! I'm feeling nervous because this special delivery is bigger than any I've ever done before. I'm worried I won't be able to do it. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense. Oh, thank you for helping me figure that out, Thomas. Would you like me to help you, Percy? Making deliveries with a friend would make me a little less nervous. Thank you, Thomas. That actually makes me feel less nervous. Now I am feeling happy. Me too. Shall we go to make this delivery? Let's do it! <laughs> if you whistle very loud, it scares away the birds that hear it. Try whistling much quieter now. The opposite of loud is quiet. Cause opposites are so different. Opposites are never the same. Can you think of opposites? Let's try now and play a game. Mountains look so big to us Across the sky we see them all Rocks look smaller on the ground The opposite of big is small Birds fly past us way up high Just look up and watch them go Cats play down low on the ground the 
opposite of high is low. The sun makes everything feel so hot, shining brightly, big and bold. A cold wind blows things around a lot. The opposite of hot is cold. Opposites are never the same. We just found some opposites. Come back soon and play again. Oh no, my musical bird friend. Why did he fly away, Thomas? I think it might be because you were whistling quietly at first. But then whistled very, very, very loudly. Because quiet and loud are opposites. Opposites? What are opposites? Opposites are two things that are different from each other. Like what? Would you like to learn some opposites? Let's try. Let's find an opposite. Ah, there. See that mountain in the distance? How would you describe it? Big. And what about that teeny tiny rock down there? Small? Yes, big and small are opposites. Oh, what else? Ah, see your bird friend high in the sky. Oh yes, he's way up high. And what about that kitty cat? She's low on the ground. Yes, the bird is up high and the cat is down low. High and low are opposites. I think I'm getting it. Let me try one. Um, the sun can be quite hot, and the wind feels cold. Are uh, hot and cold opposites? Yes, they are. Great job, Percy. Hmm. So I scared the bird because I was too loud. I better do the opposite and keep my whistle quiet. <laughs> I think that just might work. <laughs> oh no, where did they go? The animals have escaped and it's getting late. What shall we do? They'll be hungry soon. Let's bring them back with their favorite food. Oh no, where did they go? The animals have escaped and it's getting late. What shall we do? They'll be hungry soon. Let's bring them back with their favorite food. Monkeys like bananas most. They pick them from the trees. Pandas chew on green bamboo that grows in shoots and leaves. Oh no, where did they go? The animals have escaped and it's getting late. What shall we do? They'll be hungry soon. Let's bring them back with their favorite. shall we do? They'll be hungry soon. Let's bring them back with their favorite food. Koalas munch eucalyptus for lunch to give them energy. Baby elephants love apples crunch. They eat them as a treat. Oh no, where did they go? The animals have escaped and it's getting late. What shall we do? They'll be hungry soon. Let's bring them back with their favorite food. Thomas, what's your favorite color in the whole world? Blue. It's the color of the sky. That pretty bird and 
Me! Can you guess my favourite colour? Uh, green? How did you know? <laughs> because you are green, Percy! Oh, looks like Sir Topham Hatt is doing a little arts and crafts project. Mm, uh, I suppose this'll do. Uh, hello, sir. What are you doing? Hello, Thomas and Percy. We're preparing for a parade by painting these train coaches different colours. But I wanted lots of different colours. Instead, we just have these three colours, red, blue and yellow. Is there a way we can make more colours? Oh, we need to think. Hmm. Think, 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 think. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, no. <gasps> Is that making a new colour? Mixing red and blue made purple, just like Charlie. So, if you take two colours and mix them together, you get a new colour. And I might be able to paint these train coaches how I originally wanted. Huh, I wonder what other colours we can make. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's try it. Mixing red and yellow colours together made orange. Just like Nia. What does blue and yellow make? Oh, I hope it makes my favourite colour. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Just like you, Percy. It did make my favourite colour. Thomas and Percy, I cannot thank you enough. Now I can paint these train coaches many different colours just how I imagined. Happy to help, sir. And we should probably help clean up. Is there a fun way to clean up all this paint? Red, blue, purple, green, yellow, orange. Percy, Flynn's not a tank engine. He's a different kind of vehicle. Vehicle. What's a vehicle? A vehicle is something used for moving all sorts of things around. Like what? Like a fire truck. Flynn's a fire truck, which is a vehicle that helps put out fires. But that's just one kind of vehicle. There are so many. Oh, I'd love to learn them all. But how? Well, sometimes if you look closely at the clouds, you can see fun shapes. Maybe we can find some vehicle shapes in the clouds. Great idea. Let's try it, Thomas. Oh, there. That one looks like a helicopter. A helicopter is a vehicle that quickly moves people or things by flying them high up in the air with the help of its big propellers. 
Oh, yes, I see it. It looks just like Harold. <laughs> it sure does. What other vehicles are there? Oh, I see a dump truck. Yes, see, doesn't that look just like Monty? Oh, yes, now I see it. Mm -hmm. A dump truck is a vehicle that can hold lots of loose dirt, move it around and put it somewhere else. Now I want to find one this time. I see one, I see one. That cloud looks like a boat with its little triangle sail. I see it too. It looks just like Skiff the sailboat. He's a vehicle that moves by the power of the wind. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I think you are too. Helicopter, sailboat, dump truck. Spotting vehicles is fun. <laughs> it sure is. I wonder what other vehicles we might see. I can't wait to find out. Thomas is worried. Percy's really late. Here he comes now. Percy's had a busy day. He has been delivering in the countryside. He's covered in mud and he is really tired. So tired, he just wants to go to sleep. Percy, you're dirty, you can't go to sleep. You really should be doing your bedtime routine. A routine is something you do every day. A bedtime routine you do to go to bed. Get yourself clean, ask someone to read. Everything all right? Oh, Thomas, I was on my way to the animal park to drop off a koala, a baby elephant, a monkey, and a panda when the cargo door opened up and the animals escaped. Not only that, but it's time for them to eat. They'll be hungry. We'll help you find those animals, Rosie. Hmm. If they are all hungry, maybe we can lure them back with some yummy food. Different animals eat different foods that they need to be healthy. Well, I have four trucks of food behind me. Bananas, bamboo, eucalyptus branches, and apples. So we just need to figure out which food belongs to which animal. Let's try it. Hmm, let's see. Monkeys live up in trees, right? And bananas are found in trees, right? So maybe monkeys eat bananas. <laughs> it worked! What about the panda? What do pandas like to eat? I saw some cute pandas when I was in China and learned that one thing pandas love is eating lots of bamboo! Now the koala! Ooh, uh, koalas come from Australia and they spend most of their time hanging out in eucalyptus trees. So maybe the eucalyptus branches? <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Percy! Thanks, but we've used all the food except for the apples. What type of animal eats apples, Thomas? 
Baby elephant! Oh! Thank you so much for helping me find these animals! <laughs> You're welcome, Rosie! <laughs> <laughs> the shape to fit in there a triangle has three sides though so that's where the triangles go circles are round like percy's face a circle will go in that place Like an egg, place oval cargo overhead. Rectangles have two long sides. Let's fit a rectangle inside. Inside, look for shapes all around. There are so many to be found. No two shapes. Percy, look! A farm! Oh, I love farms! Especially all the animals! Me too! In fact, I can make a really great cow sound! Want to hear? <coughs> Moo! <laughs> that is a very good moo! <gasps> Did you hear that? That sounded like a cow! But I don't see any cows! Where could they be? Maybe if we figure out where cows sleep or eat, we might find them! Grass! Cows eat grass and sleep in grass too, but in a big open area! Well, let's try over there! There they are! Cows! Ooh. <gasps> pigs! Oh, pigs are so funny! But where are they? I think they like to lay in the mud! Of course! They don't call it a pig pen for no reason! They must be there! In a pig pen! Oink! 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 oink. <laughs> That sounded like a rooster! Don't roosters live in a coop? Let's find him! Is he there? I see chickens, but no rooster! Hmm... When roosters crow, they need to be somewhere everyone can hear them! Hmm... Where could that be? <gasps> Percy! Up there! Look! <laughs> we found him! <laughs> cock a doo, -doo, -doo! <laughs> <laughs> That was so much fun, Thomas! I just love farm animals! Moo! Oink, oink! cock a doo, -doo, -doo!
It's taking a bit longer today for our cargo cars to be ready. But that's okay. We don't want to rush things. We just need to be patient and wait. I can do that. <coughs> ah, here we go, Percy. After you. Why, thank you, Thomas. Uh, I'll take that one. Diesel, hold on. There we go. I'm ready for the day. What? What's wrong? You pushed in line and took Percy's cargo car. That wasn't very nice. Oh, I was only trying to get on with my day. I get that. But aren't you forgetting something important, Diesel? Ah. Uh... Using your manners. Manners? What do you mean, manners? How we treat one another is very important. And having good manners is the kind and polite way to avoid hurting someone's feelings. Right. Like what? Well, waiting your turn is good manners. If you don't wait your turn, that means you're taking someone else's turn. And when Ooh, you... And when I took Percy's cargo car, I was taking his turn. Well, that's right. And it's also important to wait your turn to talk. Oh, I just interrupted, didn't I? Oh, that's not good manners. I'm getting this now. Thanks for helping me. <gasps> that's good manners, Diesel. Saying thank you. Uh, Percy, please take this cargo car. It was yours after all. Diesel, you said please. That's great manners. Thomas, I'll go after you and take the next cargo car. I'll be sure to think about how to use my manners by saying please and thank you more often. That's wonderful, Diesel. Having good manners is a great way to respect other people and to make sure no one gets their feelings hurt. When the weather is hot and sunny, it's important to protect yourself from the sun and find shade to stay cool. Oh, good idea, Gordon. We'll keep that in mind. But it's all about to change. Really? The weather is always changing, but with each new season comes new weather, and we need to be ready. Huh? How so? Hmm. How about we take a trip through the four seasons? Follow me! So, as we know, summer is hot and sunny. It's fun to play, but... But we must keep cool. 
<laughs> That's right. But how is that different than this season? Whoa! The leaves on the trees are all beautiful colours. Orange, red, yellow. <laughs> and it's getting darker earlier, not to mention a bit chillier. That is correct. This is autumn, which is quite different from this season. This must be winter. I love the snow. Me too. But we have to wear snow plows in winter to help clear the snow from the tracks. That's correct. Just one more season now. What could this season be? Such lovely, colourful flowers. The leaves on the trees are green again. I think we're in spring. Right again. So, in autumn, the leaves change colour and in winter, it gets cold and snows. In the springtime, flowers bloom and leaves sprout. And in summer, it's sunny and hot. Well done, Thomas and Percy. That's the weather in each season. Clean everywhere that you have been You can help out everyone Let's all make cleaning fun Nobody wants to see a mess With boxes all over the tracks Work together with the rest And we can put them all neatly back do it! Tidy up, make it clean Everywhere that you have been You can help out everyone Let's all make cleaning fun It looks so much better when it's done With everything in its right place Tidying was lots of fun now it's time to play and race We did it! And tidy up, make it clean Everywhere that you have been You can help out everyone Let's all make cleaning fun Tidy up, make it clean that you have been, you can help out everyone. Tidy up, make it clean everywhere that you have been, you can help out everyone. Let's all make cleaning fun. See? I got it! Back to you, Thomas! Got it, 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 got it! Ha <laughs> This is so much fun, Percy! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Who took our ball? I did! Diesel! That's not very nice! I'm just having fun! <gasps> <gasps> uh, Diesel, that is not fun! It isn't. Well, it was just a joke. Not for us. I'm sorry. I was trying to join in the fun. Maybe I should have joined in a different way. But how? We can show you. A good friend plays well with others by thinking about their feelings. Hmm. So if I think about your feelings and not just my own, I'm more likely to share. Exactly. A good friend shares and takes turns. Your turn, Diesel. Catch. Yeah, that does feel nice. I'd like to give sharing a shot. Perhaps we could share with some other friends. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, catch! <laughs> yeah. 
Oh! James! Heads up! Oh! <laughs> Sharing feels great! <laughs> oh! It sure does! Yeah. <laughs> be polite, it's the only way to be Don't forget your manners, say thank you and say please Don't push in line, be polite Just take your time, be polite When Diesel is impatient Say thank you and please be the best that you can be. Diesel took the cargo car from Percy. That's not the way to be. He needs to wait his turn. Slow down, remember to be polite. It's the only way to be. Don't forget your mouth. Say please, try to be kind, be polite, just take your time, be polite. It's important when Thomas speaks, that you listen to what he has to say. Try not to interrupt, be respectful, remember to be polite. your manners say thank you and say please diesel's doing great he's polite it's okay to wait be polite i've got a good feeling that things will work out fine if we're kind polite say thank you and please we're the best that we can be Percy, what's wrong? Nothing. Why? I just heard you say grr. You heard me say grr? Grr. I did it again. Wait, that's not me. Who is that? Ooh, just go in. Why won't you fit them? This is making me very... Cranky, what's wrong? Oh, hello, Thomas. Hello, Percy. I'm trying to organise all this cargo into all of these crates, but I can't get them to fit. Hmm. All the crates seem to be different shapes, and all the cargo are different shapes as well. well. Maybe if we figure out what shape each crate is, we can figure out which cargo goes in which crate. Let's try it. What shape is the crate you're trying to fit that cargo into? It has four straight equal sides. Must be a square. I think you're right. What about this next one? Three straight sides. Looks like a triangle to me. Looks like that to me as well. And what about this next one? Nice and round, like our faces. A circle. Correct. <laughs> and this one? Hmm, a little tricky. Looks a little bit like a circle, but stretched out like an egg. So, an oval? Looks oval to me. And one more. Looks almost like a square, but two of the sides are longer. So that must mean it's a rectangle. That's right. So now that we know what shapes all of the crates are, all we need to know now is the shape of the cargo. Circle. Square. square triangle, triangle. Oval. Rectangle. It worked. Thank you so much. yourself or make a mess the best thing to do is tell an adult straight away and everything will be okay Percy have you had an accident yes Thomas I 
came off the track I didn't know what to do, it really hurt Well, the best thing to do is tell Sir Topham Hat Accidents happen all the time Don't worry, don't worry about it If you hurt yourself or make a mess The best thing to do is tell an adult straight away And everything will be okay Watch out for the rock on the track Quick, we have to tell Sir Topham Hat He'll know what to do to make it okay Percy, you're having such a terrible day Accidents happen all the time Don't worry, don't worry about it If you hurt yourself or make a mess The best thing to do is tell an adult Accidents happen all the time Don't worry, don't worry about it If you hurt yourself or make a mess The best thing to do is tell Sir Topham Hat Sir Topham Hat makes everything okay oh, I hope Percy comes back soon It's almost time to go to sleep <laughs> That must be him now Hello Percy my friend <laughs> Percy, what happened? I've been making deliveries in the muddy countryside all day, so now I'm a mess. Quite a mess indeed. If you'll excuse me. Hello, Percy. Hello, Emily. And good night, Emily. I'm going to sleep. But, Percy, you're so muddy. You can't go to sleep like that. You need to do your bedtime routine first. Emily is right. But what is a routine? A routine is something you do in the same way each and every day. And having a bedtime routine is an important part of falling asleep. Wow! I hadn't thought about it that way. Let's try it. First, I start my bedtime routine by cleaning myself up. Like this. <laughs> oh, it tickles. <laughs> then I read a story or have someone tell me a story. Blah, 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 blah. And that's how I used one of my birthday wishes to save the day. The end. <sighs> oh, I can feel myself getting tired already. And finally, I take three deep breaths to help my body relax. Ooh, I'd like to try that. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, that's nice. Ooh, yes. <sighs> Lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you so much, Thomas and Emily. I really do feel tired. <gasps> wow, cleaning up and having a good bedtime routine is a great way to fall asleep. Now, let's go to sleep before we wake him. Good night, Thomas. Good night, Emily. When you wake up on a beautiful day, what's your morning routine? When you wake up on a beautiful day, what's your morning routine? Sir Topham Hat says, you must prepare for the day. He has a healthy breakfast, brushes his teeth, has a shower, and everything's a when you wake up on a beautiful day, what's your morning routine? When you wake up on a beautiful day, what's your morning routine? Brush your teeth, eat your breakfast, then get nice and clean. When you wake up on a beautiful day, what's your morning routine? James, I wonder why he looks so fresh. He must have a morning routine. That's 
why he looks his very best When you wake up on a beautiful day What's your morning routine? Fresh coal, scrub off the wheels Then get nice and clean When you wake up on a beautiful day What's your morning routine? When you wake up on a beautiful day What's your morning routine? When you wake up on a beautiful day What's your morning routine? After we take this recycling to the docks We can take the trash to the waste dump And then we're done for the day Shouldn't take too long either Since we already separated the trash from the recycling Hello, Cranky! Hello, Thomas and Percy. We've brought you some recycling to be recycled. Oh, well, that's very good. But it's not as simple as that. It needs to be separated first. <laughs> we know that. In fact, we've already separated the trash from the recycling. You have separated the trash. But you did not separate the recyclables. Huh? <laughs> there are lots of different things that can be recycled and they need to be separated as well to be properly recycled. Paper, plastic and metal all have their own bins. Oh, so after separating recyclables from trash, we then need to separate each recyclable. Exactly. So, an aluminium can, which bin should this go in? Metal! What bin should I place this newspaper into? Paper? Right again! And this water bottle? Plastic. Plastic! Now you're getting it! Shall we separate the rest of these recyclables now? Yes! Let's do it! Metal! Plastic! Plastic. Paper! Thank you so much for showing us how to separate the recyclables, Cranky. My pleasure. Come on, Percy. Let's get the rest of this trash to the waste dump. 